It is complete course project. Please learn them in order. It is part 4 composition. Ok. Now we want to comp this in Photoshop. So I will uh, use CS6 for uh, uh, comp this project. So if you have CC or CS5. So any version it doesn't matter. So we only did the layer comp. So go to file and choose open. So go to your uh, destination folder. So an images, so I want to choose color using control, choose occlusion and Z depth. So select these three things and click open. So now go to color one. So now I go to occlusion pause. So select this uh, move tool. So I will click and drag over here and drop over here so now I want to set exactly over here so now I select my layer and go to uh, normals and choose multiply sorry multiply so that means see here so it will give as contact shadow so you see here it will give as contact shadow for all uh, our objects so now I want to merge this both layer. So I will select this layer, control select this layer and press control plus E. That means our two layers will be merged together. Now I want to go over here. So I will close my occlusion pause. Now go to Z depth. So you want to plug this Z depth to uh, this one for our uh, color layer. So I will go to Z depth so listen carefully so I will select my background layer press ctrl A to select all so that means you have this selection over here press ctrl C to copy so that means it will copy the selection so now go to color pause and here we have layer so nearby you have channels so here we have alpha 1 and click alpha 1 and create new channel over here so select the alpha 2 and press ctrl V that means it will paste that copy uh, selection over here so select this RGB and go to layers so and press ctrl D to deselect this selection so I will uh, paste over here in channels alpha 2 so go to layers select the background layer so before that you want to click this RGB and go over here and select the background. Go to uh, filter, blur and choose lens blur. So lens blur and here you want to give a uh, source name of alpha 2. So that means the background will be blurred. See here. So in normal the in normal it will be nothing blur so I will reduce my radius in normal it's not nothing blurred so I want to choose alpha 2 so now I want to increase my radius so see here it will be inverted so I will click invert so that means the background will be blurred so in foreground will be uh, normal so I will increase my radius to blur high so that means our lens area will be focused in the background area the sofa area will be defocused so why we model the sofa very little bit because it will be defocused uh, on our final render comp so why I will give very uh, little details to our sofa so now I increase radius what we need so it's enough I think and click OK so now I want to save this image so go to file and give save as so in your uh, images or I will choose my desktop as JPEG so I will give uh, this one is the final underscore magnif magnify glass 
so I will click save and give quality to 12 and click OK so now go to desktop I right click and choose preview that's it that's the end of the course I hope you like it please click the below button to subscribe my youtube channel I came up with new creative production project every week thank you for spending your valuable time with me so I see you on next course project